to my Super Mar Monkey Ball 2 walkthrough. I was going to say Super Mario Ball. What was I thinking there? But I'm going to be doing not only the story mode, but also, I'm, I should say, the main game uh, story mode and the challenge modes because uh, there are exclusive stages to each side, so I don't want to have an incomplete walkthrough, so to speak. So let's start the game from the beginning from the story mode. And uh, yeah, you can pretty much guess by the very first letter. <laughs> Okay, and uh, why did I go all the way up there? Yeah. Alright, story sequence! And we are in the gentle monkey village, I guess. I don't know where the heck I am, but the, oh my god, a luminous dark cloud approaches. Oh, actually, it's more like a blimp. And oh my god, everyone's panicking for no reason. No one knows that this blimp is going to hurt them or anything, so what the, why are they panicking? Unless they know this person before, I don't know. Hey, how's it going? Oh yeah, we're rocking out. Bananas on this island, they're all for me. They're great scientists. Doctor Bad Boon. For people of the jungle island, if you hate me, you will starve. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh my god, it's a vacuum cleaner. No, hold on, monkeys. Don't get sucked into the vacuum, but you're losing all of your bananas. Why didn't you have them on a chain? Stop it, Dr. Bad Moon! Everyone's going to hate you even more! Hey, where'd he come from anyway? Shut up! Shut up, you insolent monkey! If you want the bananas, you'll need to come to me. I will put all the bananas in my labyrinth. You'll need to survive my devious mazes to get them back! However, do you think you'll make it out alive? I didn't need to narrate that part. Alright! Bad boy, you get away with this! Pop, step, jump, jump, poo! Let us cooperate! Yeah, yeah, woo! Magical spell is E E Poo! <laughs> just, I always found that really stupid. <laughs> Anyway, the reason why I'm not doing Super Monkey Ball 1 first is because um, I don't have all the stages unlocked on 1, so I'm not, so I can't really do a thorough walkthrough. I can do all the stages except for the Master on the first Super Monkey Ball, but that's about all I can do. Because I just don't have the Monkey Ball skills, so to speak, to uh, unlock all the stages. There, it's extremely hard game. In fact, all the games in the series are extremely hard, except for the early levels, as you see. All I did was push forward, and would you look at that, I made it to the very end. End. And this is Hollow, the next one. You could just jump right across the gap using that uh, swale right in the front there, or you can go uh, all around the long way. But I'll just take the jump across the front for the fun of it. Yee -hee! And I failed miserably. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to do that for fun. It's actually pretty hard to execute. You gotta get it at the right angle. But that's the point of shortcuts like that. You know, they're designed to be hard. But otherwise, if you take the route around here, you won't have any trouble whatsoever. And holy cow, I'm flipping around the ball. <laughs> and why is he not wearing pants? I'm gonna have to stare at his ass all through this walkthrough. <sighs> Well, I guess that's why they say ee-ee-poo in their little dance thingy, whatever you want to call it. 
And next one is bumpy. I wonder if it's gonna be bumpy. Yep, I see a grid-like set of lines there that looks like they're kind of bumpy. Yeah, I'm just gonna race towards the goal. You can pretty much just push forward most of these uh, beginner stages and you'll just spring yourself forward perfectly even and uh, yeah. But I wouldn't go too fast if you're a beginner or something because you'll just fly right off the edge. The physics in this game are pretty wild, but you get used to them through time. But the physics are also uh, quite realistic in a way, so to speak, because of the hills that you have to push against and stuff like that. And this one is called Switches! First hit this switch, but do not hit the other switch. The other switch will make the middle thing flip forward, and you don't want that to happen. It'll, it's kind of like a little beginner's trap, and then you're going to have to take the long way around, and then you'll be all ticked off. And I'm already getting ticked off. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, okay, conveyors. I wonder if there's gonna be conveyor bolts. This one, I just recommend you push forward as hard as you possibly can. Uh, because you want all the momentum you can possibly get to get through this. And, woo, and that's it. Yeah, that was kind of pathetic, wasn't it? A lot of these beginner stages you can get done in under 10 seconds, whether it be f uh, shortcuts or just simply how easy the level is. Floaters! I guess they're talking about these platforms here, but you don't even have to touch the platforms. I don't know why. Uh, they, they should make it so you have to touch the platforms at least a little bit. I mean, that's the point. I mean, you're supposed to be floating, aren't you? Arg. Anyway, oh, that was just shy of under 10 seconds. Slopes, I wonder if there's gonna be hills. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool! You really don't even have to worry about these frontal hills right here, like uh, these. You could go right around them, but you. But the shortcut is, you know, to go right over them like that. And up the hill, and it get a little bit steeper, so get a running start, and happy monkey, do a dance! Yeah, he's doing a jig. And next stage is sliders. This one you can really take a big shortcut by just basically jumping off side and just uh, going right down the whole slope just like a skateboarder, well I'm actually a skateboarder that wants to kill himself, but the easiest and simplest way to go down is just to follow the path. If you ever feel that you're going too fast, pull back on the, the control stick and you'll have no trouble. And my god, if this monkey was, I mean if this game was actually in real life, that monkey would be chopped meat by now. I mean, he's just flipping around the ball all over the place. I mean, that's gotta be painful. He's gotta be all bruised up. His butt's gotta be sore. I mean, it's completely unprotected, as you can see. And that's another thing I gotta mention. This is supposedly a kid's game. Jesus, there's nudity all over the place. And next one is spinning top. As you can see, it's a top and it's spinning, but this one is extremely easy, and you'll see why. It only looks like it's hard, but you just gotta pay attention to where the tops uh, thingies are. Like, just wait for it. Uh, it's gonna go in that direction, so you go in the other direction. And there you go, to the goal. Of course, that could be done a lot faster, but I'm not willing to risk anything like I did in uh, the second one. Uh, the second level in the stage, or I should say World 1-2, and this is the Curve Bridge. Uh, uh oh, hold on a second here. I hate when I have to make like a little tiny part just for like a little bit of a level that I'd like to complete in one part just to keep the walkthrough organized but the camera decides to run out of time. Arg Memory card! I shouldn't say it's the camera, it's the memory card. Arrgh. Why must you hate me? You know, I, I never explained the controls. Control stick move, A button to change the size of that map at the bottom right corner. That's it for the controls. It's really simple, really intuitive, and later on that map does come in handy, believe it or not. Usually maps in arcade style obstacle courses like this don't come in handy, but in this game it does, because there's a lot of 3D physics and drop puzzles and stuff like that. And it looks like we have finished. Stage one. No, I should say level one. Oh god, he just pelvic thrusted the camera. Jesus Christ. Woo! Meeting. Everyone is doing their best to survive. We've got to help get all the bananas back. Oh, uh, I'm just thinking. Maybe that's monkey language we're listening to there. I don't have to narrate. We can listen to the monkeys narrate. <laughs> and here's Dr. Bad Boon. Oh my god. Oh, my sweet Mimi, I am here for you. Ooh, you. Uh, uh. 
Oh, he's kind of nauseating if you ask me. <laughs> Mel, you? Ew! I'd rather starve to death than marry you. Oh, your words hurt me. But is it your fault? You must be influenced by this village. My sweet Mimi, I don't think you should live here anymore. I will sink this island. Then, my dear, you'll see how strong I am. If you won't love me, then learn to despise me. He he he. Come on, drive away. I'm running low on time on this part. I only got 11 minutes. Don't you understand this story sequence? Actually, it's 10.59. Come on, do the dance, quick! You got 30 seconds to do the dance. <laughs> eh, maybe I'll just chop it up and put it in the next part if I have to. But hopefully I won't have to come to that. Then, oh my god, he's going into a volcano. This looks very 